Okay. F10. Um, air fuel richened up a bit as we commanded it to. Yeah, it's 11, 11, 5, 11, 6, 11, 8. That's good. Power here, 364, 228. And we can see the last couple lines here are pretty much overlaying on top of each other. We're only making minor changes just to the fuel side of things. I'm not going to touch my spark, but I am going to go here right where it was showing that it was knocking. If we kind of pan through the log, jump into our high cam spark timing table. We can see right in this range, it was only showing three counts now. Let's just go take care of this. Let's just grab this area right here. Let's take out two degrees of timing. And I just blend it in here. So we can see we pull a little timing out there. Um, okay, so at this point, let's set up our VTEC point. Um, and I was saying before, when we were looking at our low cam of operation, uh, let's jump in here and let's save these last couple logs. Let's open up a new comparison. Let's compare our low cam to our high cam now. And we can see the point where the torque curves overcross or uh, uh, overlay. That's going to be the point approximately where VTEC should be. So if I go here to my graph, let's go in here to our runs two. Let's compare these. Give it a second here. Now let's take a look where we see these torque curves cross, which is right around 5,000 um, as we're looking through here, as we're kind of watching this, maybe even 4,800. Let's take a different view of this so we can see this um, maybe a little bit better. I'm going to pop into my other view. It's a Dynojet style view of my, my Dynapack here. Um, makes it a little bit easier to see comparisons like this. Let's just set your axes up here on our scales. And let's go ahead and rescale this. We don't need to go out to 750 horsepower. We're not going to be making that much. Let's go scale this all the way out to something like 